Can you hear the fault in this bass line? If you couldn't hear the fault, don't worry, that's what you're about to learn. And more importantly, you'll learn our rule for fixing this fault in the bass lines you've already written and avoiding it in the bass lines you'll write in the future. But first, T. Hello revolutionary music makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony and welcome to Hack Music Theory. The fast, easy and fun way to make music. If you're new to theory or if you just want a refresher, then read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords. You'll be able to instantly apply these hacks to your songwriting and producing. So head on over to hackmusictheory.com right after this lesson and download your free PDF. Alright, it's time to open your DAW to Hack Music Theory. Firstly, just to clarify, a fault is not a mistake. A fault is a weakness. In other words, an area for improvement. So what's the fault in this baseline? Well, to expose its weakness, let's first explore its strengths. So this baseline has a great rhythm with syncopation to deepen the groove. It's phrased well, which refers to where the music breathes through rests. It has a big range, which is the distance between the lowest and highest notes. And there's plenty of movement between pitches to keep it lively. That's a lot of strength. So where's the weakness? Well, believe it or not, there's actually two weaknesses. Firstly, the bass line does not have a melodic contour. You see, a good melody doesn't jump all over the place like this bass line does. It should have a beautiful shape to it with relatively smooth ascending and descending lines and the occasional big jump for interest. And the second weakness in this bass line is that it does not contain any non-harmonic notes, which are notes that are not in the chord. When the bass only plays notes that are in the accompanying chord, it blends into those chords because there's nothing that makes it stand out from them. But when your bass plays non-harmonic notes, it separates itself from the chords. This ensures your bass is perceived as an instrument playing a melody and not merely as a frequency. Seriously, this is a massive problem in music these days. Bass lines tend to be nothing more than root notes, and when they do rarely move off the root, they tend to go to the five. But playing roots and a few fives will not add a melodic layer to your song, which is how musical depth is created. All it will do is fatten up your mix by adding low end frequencies. Your music deserves better though. Your music deserves a bass that plays actual melodies with creative contours. And by the way, our example is in the key of D Dorian, which is all the white notes from D to D, and the tempo is 90 BPM. Right, let's fix this bass line now. And to do that, we've got an easy two-step method for you. Firstly, add at least one third somewhere because the third of each chord is what creates its major or minor emotion. Over our D minor chord, we added the flat three, which is F. Over our F major chord, we added the three, which is A. And over our C major chord, we added the three, which is E. And if all these numbers and flats are confusing, then download our free book to learn all this stuff and more through 12 simple hacks. Right, step two is to add some non-harmonic notes, which are notes that are not in the chord. We're using triads here, which are the most common type of chord, consisting of the one, three, and five. So the non-harmonic notes are the two, four, six, and seven over each chord. The non-harmonic notes we added are the flat seven, which is C over our D minor chord, the seven, which is B over our C major chord, and the two, which is A, and the seven, which is F sharp over our G major chord. And if you're wondering how can we have an F sharp in our bass line when the scale consists of only white notes, well, that's because F sharp is not in the scale. It's what is known as a non-diatonic note. Unless you know how to play safely outside the scale though, 
we definitely recommend staying in the scale for now. So to conclude, our base contour rule is that your baseline should have a big range with an interesting melodic contour that includes thirds and non-harmonic notes. Because remember, if your bass is only playing the root of each chord and maybe a few fives, it will only be adding low end frequencies to your song. It will not be adding any musical depth. Lastly, please be aware that the characteristics of a great bass line are slightly different to those of a great lead melody. For example, it's normal for the bass to jump an octave or more, but that's too big for the lead. If you want to learn all the characteristics of great bass lines, check out our lesson 6 Hacks for Better Bass Lines. Now let's have a listen to the final example. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for being here in the Hack Music Theory community. You are truly valued, and we're excited to hang out with you again soon.